What is racking, guys? Welcome to another episode of Chalupa Wanna's Corner. This episode, I'll be recapping the United States 2 1 win over Germany. Of course, it was a very interesting game. Uh, tell tale of two different halves I guess I'm trying to say um, and essentially the first half majority of that first half was all Germany uh, basically that the dominating possession that first goal was off of honestly some terrible defending from Timothy Chandler uh, I just not sure if he's the right you know right back essentially for us and I can see why Demarcus Beasley has been named to the provisional roster of course uh, big news there the provisional roster was announced but I uh, don't really want to go into it I'll probably do a Chalupa Wanda's corner basically on uh, when the full 23 man roster for the Gold Cup comes out. But uh, yeah, the Chandler has was not very good in that first half. And this back line was very shaky in general. A lot of bad spacing between Alvarado and Brooks. But uh, I would have to say Brooks is very comfortable on the ball, as, as is Alvarado, and that is very impressive to see. And of course, we saw it in that goal, I would say. I like the formation because it does allow Brooks. Uh, I like the way Williams was dropping deep and Brooks was able to push forward a little bit because uh, he's a very good passer. John Brooks is a very good passer and you could do that interchangeably with Matt Beasler or Omar Gonzalez who has really improved his, his passing and ability on the ball as well, which is great to see. And uh, of course, Bradley was very dangerous throughout that matchup as a box to box and of course with his assist to mix Discrude. Uh, that was a tremendous 90, 29 pass sequence is what uh, I've seen one source equate it to as but of course Bradley was just tremendous going box to box had some other chances throughout the game a uh, couple times one time in the first half I remember he just gave the wrong pass but of course he was just so dangerous moving forward very agile uh, player which is uh, interesting because he doesn't come off as that way he's a pretty brute player he's pretty strong in the midfield but uh, it's a nice bit of agility ball control and everything that I think sometimes people uh, forget about but I thought Zardes actually had a very good first touch he looked a lot better in the first half as well I switch he was pretty solid out on the wing you know defending and everything and of course he had the big chance at the end when they kind of overloaded essentially what I saw was like at one point in the matchup they kind of moved to a 4-3-3 uh, Zardes would tuck in would uh, basically tuck in a little bit more basically play up top essentially while uh, Agudelo would be kind of sprayed a little bit more out wide that's what you like to see you know with the, that formation we saw in the first half of course was a 4-4-2 diamond uh, you can always switch it up it was, at times it did look like a 4-3-3 essentially it's nice to have that type of versatility with a, a team you know because of course Mix isn't necessarily a wide midfielder but uh, he does a good job you know defending in that sense as well which of course in this new type of football you see these days you kind of want to have a dynamic formation like that you want to be able to be dynamic like that throughout a match but of course uh, sorry did miss a pretty solid chance uh, but of course he looked a lot better I've all I've always questioned him being on the roster, but I thought he did look pretty solid today. Uh, and of course, uh, set up had a good chance and everything, and he did pretty well, uh, especially when he's moved in this. He was moved to striker the second half as well, but uh, he looked pretty good. And of course, him and Mix and Johansson had a very good comp combination play at the end of the second half. I have to say, uh, very close there. It was a great defensive play, I remember, from one of the Ger German defenders. But uh, of course, then Beckerman came in the second half, and I thought he looked pretty good. Uh, and of course, Evans had a nutmeg. Uh, he came out and played right back. And I thought he looked really solid at right back. Of course, uh, actually against Germany was where he got his start in 2013 with the U.S. He had a very good game against Germany, and he started to feature in the World Cup qualifying for the U.S. But... Uh, of course, right mid is definitely Yedlin's spot, I have to say. Looked very good at right mid, as usual. He's very dangerous, but uh, that's, I definitely think that's his spot, and I think that is another reason why Beasley may be uh, considered for the roster, because I think Yedlin, we would prefer to have Yedlin out wide. I think uh, Jurgen would prefer to him, have him out there, because, of course, his positioning and defending is always still questionable, and he's playing deeper in that right back position. Of course, he had the huge game against Belgium, no doubt about that, and basically locked down Hazard, but uh, either way, I think that's his future, and I think uh, Jurgen agrees, and I think a lot of people agree as well that are Tottenham supporters and uh, U.S. supporters. But, uh, of course, that dummy on Bobby Wood's goal from Jordan Morris, of course, the young player for Stanford, uh, it just looks so promising. That's just amazingly smart tactical awareness, awareness of everything that's around, and that was amazing. And, of course, the finish by Bobby Wood is tremendous. Uh, some people are curious as to why Bobby Wood is not on the provisional roster now, but, of course, he was so inconsistent with the U.S. before. Uh, it's a bit... He's in good form right now, but I think, you know, he needs to carry it over into his club as well and, you know, have a good situation with his club if he wants to continue to future for the U.S. But, uh, of course, uh, some people may like to see him a bit more of him now that, of course, he scored this big goal against Germany. But uh, I do think he needs more time as a youngster. But, of course, um, this was just a tremendous game. It was extre extremely 
exciting. That second half was great to see. You know, the U.S. hold quite a tremendous amount of possession. And, and I mean, a, Germany did make some changes in the like. I'd have to say Herman caused a lot of problems also in that first half for Johnson. Of course, on that first goal, he had uh, the assist and everything. So, uh, that, of course, he did a great job for Germany. I really think we'll see him a lot more. But he did – the defense, U.S. defense did a good job, you know, locking him down in the second half a lot more. Did not see much of the ball. But uh, either way, it was a tremendous performance. I have to say the back line did look a lot better in that second half as well. A very good chance from Kadiri at the end there. Of course, Jordan Morris, again, I forgot to mention, was very close on a chance himself. But uh, just overall, very exciting performance. You can kind of see a lot of the growth of U.S. soccer with these last two performances in Netherlands and, um, of course, Germany here, where basically mixed squads, not a, I wouldn't say it's the strongest squad. Of course, you're mis missing some players like Dempsey, and, of course, the back line, people are still unaware of, just trying to figure things out there. So great performances, great results for a very for this squad here. I definitely think uh, some great momentum, as was mentioned in the end of that broadcast, going into the Gold Cup, and definitely think, you know, Jurgen has figured out things formation-wise. looks like f a mix of the 4-3-3 and 4-4-2 diamond wide may be the way to go for this U.S. squad, but we'll have to see, of course. Things may get complicated when the likes of Dempsey uh, come back and even, you know, Altidore and the like. But uh, with that, I'll be writing this out now running this out now guys of course if i have any other thoughts i'll likely leave them in the comment section below if you have any other thoughts of course leave them as well just want to get this quick reaction video out of course after that tremendous game but uh of course again leave some feedback comments section below love to have conversations with other u.s fans i know other people that saw the game other people interested in the u.s but uh with that guys thanks for tuning in i'll be signing out now and i'll catch you guys later